What's up everybody, this is the Act Man here, and today I wanted to talk about Hogwarts Legacy. For those unaware, there's a new Harry Potter game coming out that, by all intents and purposes, looks fantastic to the eye of the regular gamer, perhaps, or the regular Harry Potter fan. But were it so easy, said the Arbiter in Halo 3, because no longer can we enjoy any particular piece of media if its creators may have done or think something morally reprehensible. Yes, I'm talking, of course, about J.K. Rowling, creator of the Harry Potter world. Because there's a new type of boycott going on in the internet space where uh, guilt by association it is the crux of it. Personally, I've loved the Harry Potter universe for a long time, and I've, I've also noticed that J.K. Rowling has said a lot of really weird things over the years. I'm not super knowledgeable about everything J.K. Rowling has said, and all the ways she might be transphobic. That's really not what this video is about, because whether or not she is transphobic isn't relevant to the question, does buying Hogwarts Legacy make you a transphobe? Which is something a lot of people surprisingly would have you believe. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you what morals you should have, or uh, what you should boycott, or what you shouldn't boycott. When I said I was gonna boycott Halo Infinite, I wasn't saying, and you support bad Halo games, if you continue playing it. No, because, you know, I don't spend every waking moment on Reddit, and I have some grasp of how the real world works. You know, I see this idea of guilt by association on the internet. If you follow someone on Twitter, that is not an endorsement. That goes without saying, right? You could be following someone just to see what a disaster of a person they are, or to make fun of their opinions and beliefs, right? In the same way, following someone on Twitter is not an endorsement of everything they say, buying a product is also not an endorsement. There's a growing movement where if you buy Hogwarts Legacy and you're contributing to J.K. Rowling and therefore contributing to her beliefs. Um, no, that's fucking dumb, right? If we apply this logic, then all of us support child slave labor because all of our phones are made that way. That's how they get the metal for the chips they use. Or, you know, if you have to go through and look at everything you own and be like, man, I hope this was made by someone who morally aligns with me. Like, that's just such a fucking tedious, uh, unrealistic way to live life. Gosh, I hope this Lululemon water bottle wasn't made by a band of racist white supremacists. You're starting to sound like Fox News, but I don't think all of the developers are trans-hating bigots. I don't think that about all of the gaming companies and news organizations that are going to cover this game. It's like, what about all those IGN reviewers and GameSpot? Are all these people that buy and review the game as part of their fucking job, are they now transphobes too? Is the organization now transphobic for having any kind of coverage on this game? It's like, it's just like guilt by association. You can, you can take that to the most extreme level, right? I could say r slash gaming circle jerks posts about me inspired me to buy 10 copies of the game that I'm all gonna give away. So can I now use guilt by association to say that the r slash gaming circle jerk subreddit is transphobic? Absolutely. I absolutely can. This is why this train of thought and logic is fucking dumb, because it can be used against you. So yeah, we're gonna get into the Hogwarts Legacy thing. I uh, streamed this on Twitch. You can follow me there if you wanna watch me play games and shoot the shit live. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's talk about Hogwarts Legacy. Before we talk about it, I do wanna say that if you care about like the issue at hand and if you care about like trans issues and whatever those might be, don't just like, bitch about Hogwarts Legacy like I would I would actually say donate I think that's a good idea if you don't want to play Hogwarts Legacy and you want to boycott the game perfectly fine perfectly fine I think you should also I think you should turn that internet noise into something tangible that's what bothers me about the whole like Hogwarts Legacy debate is uh, so much of it is just internet noise it's just like pointless internet noise like virtue signaling like look at how good I am because I'm standing up for this issue. Turn that turn that into something tangible. That's my challenge to you because I plan to do that, uh, you know, set the example. Donating to a a trans charity that is like trying to help prevent people from committing suicide and helping them, that should not be controversial at all. I'm trying to toe the line between like, you know, hardcore uh, people on the right who are gonna be like, oh, you're giving in to the LGBTQ community by donating. And then I'm trying to toe the line between the hardcore leftists that are like, if you buy Hogwarts Legacy, you're a transphobe, you know? Like it should it should not be this controversial. What's, what's a good donation price? What do you guys think? Let's see, 69? 
69 is a good price. This one time I donated $420.69 to Dr. Disrespect on his stream and he saw it <laughs> and he was like, oh man, thanks for the 420. And then he just like deadpan. Let's set a good example. Let's set a good example. We'll do 2000. There it is. Do something tangible, okay? Don't just bitch and moan and call everyone a transphob for not believing exactly the same thing you do. If you if you want to boycott the game, then then put 60 bucks towards a lifeline. Easy. 60 bucks. You can afford it. If you can afford to waste your time on the internet bitching and moaning about dumb shit and virtue signaling, you can afford 60 bucks to do something tangible, right? Can we agree on that? There, the subreddit r slash gaming circle jerk, it's a fucking cesspool of, of an echo chamber and virtue signaling narcissists who expect everyone to, to believe the exact same way that they do. And when they go out in the real world and, and people are like different, it's like shocking to them. They're like, what do you mean? Like, because they've been in this echo chamber for so long that the, the idea of different beliefs is... Like, they shun that from the subreddit. Dude, normally, normally I, I really love Reddit. Yeah, dude, and, uh, you know, like, Reset Era is, you know, b this this website banned all discussion of Hogwarts Legacy. If you go onto Reset Era and you post a topic about Hogwarts Legacy, your account will be instantly banned. You, they just ban you. And it's like, okay, but what does it do? What does that do for people? You're just kind of, like, stoking the flames. Like, like I went I went to the r slash gaming circle jerk subreddit, but I don't see anybody on that fucking subreddit raising any kind of money or organizing any kind of effort amidst all this discussion they're just a bunch of memers and shitlords which is like you know that's fine if you want to be that but like i think you just just stop the virtue signaling you know dude it, you know what's the stupidest fucking thing about about the hogwarts legacy thing is guilt by association okay do we all know what that is it means if i can somehow connect you and associate you with hitler i can say that you are just as bad as him that's what it is so if you can use some sort of warped mind logic to convince yourself that your opponent sh is associated with the bad thing, then you can just say, well, all those bad qualities transfer right over to you. Like, uh, if we assume for the sake of argument, Chris Reagan was talking about this, and this is what he said. If we assume for the sake of argument that J.K. Rowling is on the same level of Kanye West on the shit that she has said, even saying that, buying a product... A Harry Potter product does not mean you endorse her beliefs. Spending money is not an endorsement, okay? If some fucking thugs come to my house demanding protection money, what am I going to do? Because if I pay them, I support thuggery. Yeah, act man is white. So is Hitler. You fucking got him. Got him. You know, you know what bothers me is it like boycott whatever you want. Okay, it's like bo boycott applesauce if you want, man. If you want to stick it to the applesauce companies and you're pissed off at them, go ahead. Free country, man. I, I support it. But don't imply that I I'm like against worker rights if I don't boycott the applesauce companies for the same reasons that you are. You know what I mean? Because you and I aren't the same person. This isn't a subreddit where we all think and believe the exact same things and anyone who doesn't is immediately downvoted and chastised, okay? This isn't a subreddit circle jerk where everyone thinks and believes the same thing as a hive mind. It's not a hive mind. I have never wanted my audience to be a hive mind. Talk as much shit as you want about me. Call my opinion stupid. Call me dumb. Call me uneducated. Rip me apart. It's fine. It's like, it's the internet. I've never wanted to be someone that was just like, you know, that just gets his dick sucked all the time. I don't, I don't hate the r slash gaming circle jerk subreddit or anything or like reset era or any of these people. But I do think like, like the environments they put themselves in are like really mentally unhealthy because if you just surround yourself with all people who think the same, that's kind of how cults start. What, what, Cause if one person gets a really bad idea and everyone thinks the same way, then nobody's going to be like, oh, maybe that's a bad idea. <laughs> Act man, I am I am afraid I can no longer support you due to your endorsement of the Applesauce Corporation. Exactly. That's I could make up this Applesauce Corporation. I could make this up. And, and, and I could make up this fan fiction about how, how it's a fucking scam and, and how they kill goats for no reason and, and, you know, child slave labor. And as long as I can say, well, why aren't you boycotting that? Then, then I can now say through guilt by association that you believe in all the things that f this fake applesauce company is doing. Does any of this make sense? I still have like some stuff I want to say on the Hogwarts legacy thing because it's... It, 
it just bothers me so much that it's like, oh, you <laughs> transphobe. It's just finger finger pointing and virtue signaling. Look at look at how transphobic you are, and look at how good I am. <laughs> Based. That is. B oh. Ugh. Ugh. God. Look at it. Look at it. That is that is one of the best memes I've ever seen. Not even the text. Just like the fact that the Chad meme has has gotten so far out of hand that it's just just throw Shrek on it and make his skin green too. Did you know that if you buy from a Nazi, then donate far more to Jewish organizations? Are you? Okay. Mental mental illness, the tweet. If you buy from a Nazi, buying from paying someone money is not an endorsement of them. I pay taxes. Do you think I endorse everything the government does? Fuck no. You I, I, like are you people stupid? Are you stupid? You lose your brain cell? You no fucking brain up here? You got no fucking brain up here. Please do not support the upcoming Hogwarts Legacy game. Okay, so right off the bat I, this this comes across like virtue signaling, right? When it's like, do not support. Let me tell you why. I have all the good reasons. What's that little five-year-old Timmy? What's that? You want to play the fun wizard game? Fuck you. What, you want your whole family to become transphobes? Fucking bigot, man. Fuck Timmy. That by supporting this title, you are essentially aligning yourself with some really heinous trans... You are a fucking moron. I, I pay the thugs protection money. I'm aligning myself with the thugs outside of my house right now that want to beat the shit out of me. I, I pay the, the government my taxes. I'm aligning myself with their missile strikes. You are basically aligning yourself with something really heinous. No, you're not. Be clear that they see the success of this title as being vindication of their transphobic views. I asked someone for a source on that. Wouldn't fucking give it to me. They, You know, when you ask someone for a source on something, because you're, you're not... You're not discrediting what they're saying. You're simply asking like, hey, oh, this is a fact. Can can you show me the thing that validates it? Because I have an interest in the truth. I asked for people a source on that. Couldn't fucking find it. Well, the only thing they brought up was a tweet JK Rowling made about, um, it said something like, how do you sleep at night? When I check the royalty checks in the mail, I, you know, I feel much better about myself. Basically, that's what she said. That is not, that is, that does not equate to money f earned from Hogwarts Legacy is directly going to this campaign that is going to criminalize, criminalize being trans. Th that's a fucking massive leapfrog l leap of logic. Like, if I purchase Hogwarts Legacy, if J.K. Rowling thinks that's an endorsement of her beliefs, then she's fucking an idiot too. Because you both think the same dumb thing. That money, a purchase, a fucking transaction, is a full endorsement of everyone's moral and ethical beliefs. You are a fucking troglodyte if you think that. But more than a troglodyte, you you have no concept of reality. Of, of your fucking brain don't work. What's your fucking brain? You got no brains up here. What did J.K. Rowling even do? I mean, she's, I don't know to the extent, but I've, I know that she says weird ass shit. You know, like she said some weird ass shit, so I totally get like I said, I totally get not wanting to play the game, wanting to boycott it. Totally understand. Free country, man. You boycott whatever you want. Boycott the applesauce companies. But don't tell me I'm a bad person for not boycotting the same companies you boycott. It's like, it's like what type of person goes through their life and makes sure every single fucking thing they own and purchase, they can verify that it is made by ethical people. I hope the guy that made your blender wasn't a racist, because what's that going to say about you, huh? This bathrobe, by the way, this is transphobic. This is now transphobic, retroactively. I got this two years ago. But now, when I wear this, the transphobia just... <sighs> Dude, this is the new SS. This is the new SS uniform, according to r slash gaming circle jerk. Are you guys tired of me talking about this? <laughs> Transphobius totalius. <laughs> uh, we saw this coming, didn't we, folks? I'm broke and not doning any, donating anything because I can't afford it. You're a coward because you want to play a game where you're a wizard so bad that you can't commit to not playing it. It's not even about... Dude, I could... I don't have to play it. I don't have to. But I'm not transphobic if I do. That's... That's the issue. Dum dum. Penis brain. Of course he's not going to donate. Of course he's not. That's what I thought.
call me transphobic, but you know what? If, if all the people that called me transphobic donated 60 bucks to one of those lifelines, the world would be a better place. <laughs> what does Quantum TV think about all this? If motherfucker probably doesn't want to say anything, I think we already know what he thinks. He's probably buying more copies than anybody else. Not even just to play him, just just because he has so much hate in his heart. He thinks that's like getting it out. <laughs> that motherfucker's buying buying the fucking store. Um, that that that's another aspect is like Harry Potter World. Okay, so now is is are all the families that go to Harry Potter World, it like that's a transphobe factory now. They're they're put uh, thousands of people go in daily. Thousands of transphobes are coming out. They don't even know they hate trans people, and and yet they do. Like, like, I think what J.K. Rowling has said, it's not as bad as literally assassinating a journalist. I, that's what Chris Reagan was talking about, and I was like, I, f I feel it, you know? So, in conclusion, uh, purchasing a product is not an endorsement of someone's beliefs and morals. That's just fucking stupid. Believe what you want to believe, boycott what you want to boycott, but do not imply someone else's morals are uh, reprehensible if they don't boycott and believe all the exact same things you do. The world is not an echo chamber. Stop treating it like it is, you know? So yeah, I think I've preached enough on the matter. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to Actman TV for more awesome content. Alright everyone, that's all I got for today. This is the Actman, signing out. Peace!